Hi, my name is Mark Miller. I am the department head of special programs here at Applewood Heights Secondary School. And my job is today is to briefly discuss what the regional learning choices program stages are and where the regional sports program fits into all this. Now, this will be a relatively generic, here's how you make sure you apply kind of presentation. And if you would like more specifically about the regional sports program, please feel free to follow the links that are shared within this slideshow. So the regional choices program itself um, can either start at the elementary program or the secondary. So here we are just going to talk about the secondary program because that is all we offer here at Applewood Heights. So there are 11 different programs. Um, the highlighted one that you see, regional sports, that is the only regionally identified program that we offer. But also Applewood Heights does offer a French immersion program as well as a specialist high skills major in sport. And that, if you're, if you're interested in, that only starts in grade 11, but it is a wonderful transition if people would like to parallel and do both the RSP or regional sports program at Applewood and are interested in following their pursuits with a specialist high skills major, we are more than happy to discuss those pathways with you. Now the important thing is that once again the first stage talks about the elementary regional choices program so we're not going to discuss that too much but the second bullet point students must apply the same way as all other students. So no matter if you're coming in from a different specialty program in Peel or outside you still need to go through the application process and that is what the bulk of this presentation will be discussing. And also please note that if you are on a student visa, unfortunately you are not eligible to join us in the RLCP or Regional Learning Choices Program. So what do we offer here at Applewood? We offer full year daily physical education in grades 9 and 10. We also provide opportunities to study with like-minded individuals. We are kept together as a cohort as much as possible. So you'll be staying with the group of students who also are like-minded around leadership and physical education. Uh, we expose students to a range of physical activities in which the emphasis is on lifelong physical activity and leadership, and it also allows students to engage in unique learning opportunities. And if you'd like to know more about all the programs, Appwood, I'm a little partial to because I am here, but if you'd like to learn about any of the other programs, please feel free to follow the link that is listed on this page. So our po program brownies, as I'm sure as you're doing your research, you are realizing that different programs have different boundaries and depending on which program you go to, it depends on which school that you are going to apply to. Fortunately for us, Applewood Heights, we are the only school in Peel that offers this distinct program of leadership through sport or the RSP program. So anybody in Peel, either being Dufferin Catholic, Peel DSB, or even the surrounding areas, you are more than welcome to apply and hopefully you make it through the process because we would love to have you. So anybody in Peel, Mississauga, Brampton, Caledon, even the surrounding areas, if you're willing to make the trek to Applewood, I'm sure you will enjoy it. So unlike some other programs that might be offered elsewhere, outside of Ontario, all regional programs must adhere and must follow the Ontario curriculum. So here at Applewood Heights, we do follow the curriculum, but we also have an opportunity to enhance it through sport and leadership activities. So for all the applications, so the entire application process, regional program for grade nine, if you're interested in applying, you must meet the eligibility criteria for the special program. Our eligibility requirement is that you are alive and that you are looking for an opportunity to be a leader through physical movement. We don't care what your path is. We don't care what your choices are. We would love to have you and we will make sure that you find the program that best suits your pursuits beyond high school. The applications themselves, the applications open November 9th at 8.30 a.m. and they close November 23rd at 8.30 a.m. The application, the link is included in here on this slide for you and feel free to click in. Here are the dates about the programs. So as you're listening to this presentation, that is part of the learning about the program period. Applications are November 9th to 23rd and then there are first, second, and third rounds on acceptances based on uh, the lottery system. 
which we will discuss now, actually next. So based on the process of self-identification, all African, Black, First Nations, Inuit, and Métis students who self-identify and meet the criteria for admission will be accepted into the program without participating in the random selection process. So this is a change this year. So if you can self-identify with any of these groups, then the random selection process does not apply to you. If you'd like more information, please feel free to contact the board or any of the schools who are involved. So, as everybody's always wondering is, how much is this going to cost me? So, step one is the application fee. So there's a $40 application fee for each program you want to apply to. So if you want to apply to five different programs, that's going to be $40 times five, so that's $200 you're spending on applications. So once again, if you just want to apply to Applewood Heights Regional Sports Program, which would be fantastic, that will only cost you $40. If you want to apply to more and more, that $40 goes up for every application you put in there. Most program fees, including ours, are only $200 a year. So each year, that is what it's going to cost to come to Applewood Heights to be involved with the program. Now many people ask what does that entail? For us that involves field trips, that involves special training, special certifications, um, coaching clinics, things along those lines, as well as some pretty good identification clothing. We, we've In the past we've done some jackets, t-shirts, bags, so you will know who the RSP students are walking through the school because of the wonderful branding through the RSP that comes with being part of the program. And we want to make sure that all students are able to come to these programs and make sure that the financial issue is not a challenge and not a barrier for you to join us. So there are some financial supports available for families interested. Um, for assistance with the application fee, please contact your grade 8 principal. If you need assistance with the program fees, please feel free to connect with the principal for the Regional Learning Choices Program once you have been accepted. Or you may, if you get in, which we hope you do, and you're like, eh, 200 is a little too much, we, we could use a little help, feel free to call the school, our principal, or me, Mark Miller, and we will make sure that this is not a barrier to your child joining us. And the fee, as I mentioned before, it covers field trips to enhance the delivery, uh, guest speakers and instructors. There are some certifications, as I mentioned, like the YMCA leadership and the national coaching emphasis. There are cross-curricular opportunities with iSport and the science and shutter speed workshops, which are really cool. Um, and also, as I mentioned, the gear. Every year, something to identify you as part of the program. Now, here's what always happens. Once you apply. Once you apply, you will receive an email, whichever one you choose to share with the application program, that will let you know that the application has been received. If you have not received that email after 24 hours, please feel free to call. We, will, we can check the system and make sure it's in. If not, we can always find ways to make sure that it has been added and that your child will be included in the application process and the lottery system. So the random selection process, or what is lovingly referred to as a lottery, once you apply, there will be a review of your child's application to make sure it meets the criteria of the program. Um, and if you do meet the criteria, your name, your child's name will be added to the list of people who qualify for the program. Once that list has been put together, a computer randomly generates the order. And based on that order, we then put out um, the offers to join us in the program. So it's not about being the fastest or being the strongest or being the smartest. It is about meeting the criteria and where you land in the random selection process. And with us, the participation component, uh, due to the pandemic, it has been an interesting approach on what we've been taking to try to meet the expectations above and beyond the classroom. Um, but for us, the great thing is the students are expected to stay active. So even when they're at home, our teachers are doing an incredible job of going online, offering supports, modeling programs, uh, asking the students to be, be physically active, act as leaders both within their classes and outside. And we have options for both the in-school and the online program. But hopefully this will end pretty soon and we'll be able to have them back in school and eventually get back to what things looked like before. So with the offers, acceptances, and wait lists, each regional program has a specific number of spots. 
if you apply to multiple programs and you may get multiple offers or multiple wait lists the moment you choose a program your child is removed from all the other wait lists so please make sure that the choice they make is the one they're happy to stick with you you can't choose one and then change your mind later and once you make an offer that's take an offer that's the one you get and then as we go through the different rounds if there's any spaces left after the first round then we offer a second round and then if there's any spaces after second we will go around a third time um, so as I mentioned earlier all regional programs are open to all eligible students students who meet the criteria who live in the Peel region will be offered first spots and students who live outside the Peel region will be offered spots once all the local students have been exhausted so if there's still space after round three then we will offer to anybody who lives outside of Peel. And Peel considers all students before it considers outside applications, but RLCP pounders are based on addresses. But fortunately, as I mentioned before, we're the only program in Peel, so as long as you live in Peel, you qualify. And any documentation, so if there are any students who are outside of Peel District School Board, we will need the documentation from your home school to make sure that your child does meet the expectations. Transportation, so if you do live a fair bit away and especially coming in a grade nine, they don't have cars yet, it is up to the family to pay for the bus service to get the child to the school. Uh, the school does not do the busing, it is from an outside company and once again if that is something you're willing to, you're interested in, I am more than happy to share that information with you if you contact the school. Um, just as I mentioned, the, the buses and all the busing and all the aspects around busing are paid for by the parents and are done by third parties. If you'd like more information about our specific pro program, please feel free to click the link below. If that doesn't work, as I mentioned in the little video or demonstrated in the little video before this, uh, feel free to Google Applewood Heights RSP and we are the number one source the number one spot that comes up when you search those three words together, Applewood Heights and RSP. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact the school. Our principal is more than happy to share some information. If he's not available, there are many people in the phys ed department or myself, once again, Mark Miller. And I'm more than happy to share all the joy and happiness I have with RSP, what your child has to look forward to. And ultimately, hopefully we can see your child here in September. Good luck with your choices. Good luck with the lottery. Thanks for listening. Take care.